Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I draw realistic eyes for my wildlife drawings. For this piece, I'm going to be drawing a lion eye, but the principles and the processes apply to any animal. I'm going to be using predominantly charcoal for this piece, and you can see I've already roughed out an outline of my eye using a graphite pencil. The pencil that I used was HB, and I didn't press very hard, so I didn't scratch or indent the paper. So the first step, I'm using a charcoal pencil, and I'm just outlining that iris. I'm making sure to draw around the iris and not on the inside of the iris, so that black bit around it, because I don't want to make that iris too small. And I'm literally just filling in and blocking in the dark shapes first. Then I like to identify my shadowy region and just draw a rough line very softly before shading it in using the edge of the pencil. I'm making sure to leave some of the highlight on that eye free so the white of that paper shows through. I'm then just going to come in and darken everything off around the outside of that iris. And then I'm going to use a tissue to blend some of that charcoal into the surface of the paper. The reason that I'm using tissue and not just my finger is because I don't want any oils from my skin to push the charcoal into that surface and make it permanent. I want to keep it quite loose and quite light so that I can erase any highlights later on if I need to. And that is actually the next step. I'm going to start to now erase some of the finer details in that eye. I'm just using a putty eraser here and I'm just pressing it quite lightly over the surface and just creating marks leading to the centre of that eye, leading to that pupil. I'm not being exact, I'm not really copying the reference photo exactly, but I've got my shadows and I've got my highlights and I'm just putting them in in a way that I feel looks good. A new tool that I've bought recently is the Tombow Mono Eraser and it's great for just creating more refined lines and sharper lines, again leading towards the centre of that pupil. You don't need to go into extreme amounts of detail. As long as you get those shadows and those highlights in the right place, the impression of those lines within the iris will be fine. You do not need to overdo it. I use that eraser again just to remove the charcoal from the surface of the paper within that highlight to bring back the white of the paper and give that reflection in that eye. Once the highlights are in, I can start to bring back some of the darks. So again, going back to that charcoal pencil, I use it to establish the pupil and really darken it. I'm pressing a little bit harder this time. I use that charcoal pencil to add some more shadows and then blend it into the rest of the drawing using a blending stump instead of the tissue paper. The reason for this is because the blending stump is a little bit more refined and I can just be a little bit more controlled with my approach rather than using the tissue paper, which is just really good for blending large areas. I then go on to fill in the rest of the darks around the eye, just again using that charcoal pencil, but making sure to leave some gaps where some of the highlights, some of that skin might be showing through. I then fill this in because I don't want it looking completely white. I fill it in by using the blending stump and just smudging some of that charcoal across the surface to grey up the paper and make it a different value to the other highlights that I have on the eye. I also use the blending stump to create some soft transitions between that black of the eye and the outside fur, just softly pulling that charcoal outwards from the eye in the direction that I want the fur to go. Using that charcoal pencil again, I come in and start to refine the fur around that eye, just picking out the darkest sections first and lightly pressing the pencil onto the surface of that paper. I then use some tissue paper again to blend that charcoal into the paper and just create a toned surface that I can add some details on top of. 
Once that's done, I can come in with the putty eraser and start to erase some of the fur details. I'm moulding it between my fingers to create that sharp point. When I'm drawing fur like this, I make sure to follow the shape or the form of the structure that I am trying to cover and also leave plenty of gaps between each strand so that the different values and different levels of charcoal show through and that allows us to establish layers and an almost 3D effect to the fur. I then work over the top of this with the Tombow Mono Eraser just using the finer point to create some finer lines in that fur. Then I can bring back my charcoal pencil and start to darken some of those areas and put some darker strands of fur around that eye. I will then use the tissue once again to blend back some of the charcoal. This time I'm specifically looking for the areas that I want to be in shadow and I'm just rubbing some of that charcoal over those shadowy areas. This allows me to establish a little bit more form and 3D shape to the eye. Then I can come back in with that Tombow eraser and just start to add in some final highlights and final strands of fur. You can repeat this process with any animal eye. It works no matter what the subject is, and you can use these techniques with charcoal or graphite to create some really realistic looking wildlife pictures. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to see the full process of this piece being created, then check out this video here. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.